Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oger. I am an emergency physician and founder of edxitvideo.com, a website that shows free patient education videos about different conditions. In this video, we're going to talk about Raynaud's disease. About 5% of the population in the United States have this condition. Raynaud's is a rare disorder that affects the arteries. Arteries are the blood vessels that carry blood from your heart to different parts of your body. Raynaud's sometimes is called a disease, syndrome, or phenomena. This disorder is marked by brief episodes of vasospasms, which is narrowing of the blood vessels. Vasospasm of the arteries reduces blood flow to the fingers and toes. In people who have Raynaud's, the disorder usually affects the fingers. In about 40% of the people who have Raynaud's, it affects the toes. Rarely, the disorder affects the nose, ears, nipples, and lips. Often, the cause for Raynaud's is not known. This type of Raynaud's is called Raynaud's disease or primary Raynaud's. Raynaud's phenomena. Sometimes a disease condition or other factor causes Raynaud's. This type of Raynaud's is called Raynaud's phenomena or secondary Raynaud's. Primary Raynaud's is more common and tends to be less severe than secondary Raynaud's. Scleroderma and lupus are two examples of conditions that can cause Raynaud's. About 9 out of 10 people who have scleroderma have Raynaud's, and about 1 in 3 people who have lupus have Raynaud's. Other examples of diseases and conditions that can cause Raynaud's include the following. Rheumatoid arthritis, atherosclerosis, blood disorders, Sjogren's syndrome, dermatomyositis, Berger's disease, thyroid, and pulmonary hypertension. Repetitive actions that damage the arteries or nerves that control the arteries in the hands and feet may lead to Raynaud's. Typing, playing piano, or other similar movements repeatedly over long periods may lead to secondary Raynaud's. Using vibrating tools like a jackhammer and drills may also raise your risk of developing Raynaud's. Exposure to a certain workplace chemical can cause a scleroderma-like illness that's linked to Raynaud's. An example of this chemical is vinyl chloride, which is used in plastics industry. The nicotine in cigarettes can also raise your risk of developing Raynaud's. Certain medicines can cause secondary Raynaud's, including migraine headache medicines that contain ergotamine. This substance causes the arteries to narrow. Certain cancer medicines, such as cisplatin and vinblastin. Some over-the-counter cold and allergy medicines and diet aids. Some of these medicines can narrow your arteries. Beta blockers. These medicines lower your heart rate and lower the blood pressure. Birth control pills, as these medicines can affect blood flow. If you have primary or secondary Raynaud's, cold temperatures or stress can trigger Raynaud's attacks. During an attack, little or no blood flow to, goes to the affected body parts. As a result, the skin may turn white and then blue for a short time. As blood flow returns, the affected areas may turn red and throb, tingle, burn, or feel numb. Raynaud's attacks can last less than a minute or as long as several hours. Attacks occur daily or weekly. In figure A, shows arteries in the fingers, digital arteries, with normal blood flow. The inset image shows a cross-section of a digital artery. Figure B shows fingertips that have turned white due to blocked blood flow. Figure C shows narrow digital arteries causing blocked blood flow and blue fingertips. The inside image shows a cross-section of a narrow digital artery. Most people who have Raynaud's have no long-term tissue damage or disability. However, people who have severe Raynaud's can develop skin sores or even gangrene from prolonged or repeated attacks of Raynaud's. Gangrene refers to the death or decay of body tissues. Let's talk about the cold stimulation test. A cold stimulation test can be used to trigger Raynaud's symptoms. For this test, a small device that measures temperature is tap taped to your fingers. Your hands are then exposed to cold. They're usually briefly put into ice water to do this. Your hands are then removed from the cold, and the device measures how quickly your fingers return to their normal temperature. If you have Raynaud's, it may take more than 20 minutes for your fingers to return to their normal temperature. Nail fold capilloroscopy. 
You may have this test. For this test, your doctor puts a drop of oil at the base of your fingernail. He or she then looks at your fingernail under a microscope. If your doctor sees abnormal arteries, it may mean you have a disease linked to Raynaud such as scleroderma. Your, order, your doctor may order uh, other tests to look for conditions that are linked to secondary Raynaud's. Examples include antinuclear antibody like ANA, erythrorite sedimentation rate or ESR, or commonly termed SED rate, and C-reactive protein, CRP tests. Treatment for Raynaud's includes lifestyle changes, medicines, and rarely surgery. Examples of medicines used to treat Raynaud's include certain calcium channel blockers, alpha blockers, prescription skin creams, and ACE inhibitors, which are used less often. Follow-up is very important for a more definitive diagnosis and to do tests for possible underlying cause of Raynaud's, you must follow up with your primary care physician. You must come back to the emergency department for persistent symptoms of Raynaud's that don't go away in a few minutes or less than an hour, skin changes or tissue injury, or any systemic symptoms or worsening symptoms than the ones you had in your previous visit. For other videos like this video, please go to edexitvideo.com. But remember, these are educational videos and should never replace the care or attention of a medical healthcare professional.